Here is your host, Dynamics 365 goddess herself, Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. Are you utilizing Dynamics 365 customer service to send emails with attachments to your customers? If that's the case, then you don't want to miss this video. I will be talking about some of the new enhancements that are part of the attachments in emails inside of Dynamics 365 customer service. And do you have an environment where you need to enable this functionality? Then I will tell you all about how to do that as well. Let's go ahead and take a look. So first, let's take a look what that attachment experience was before this new update, right? So you can kind of see here, I have four attachments. It looks a little bit bland. I can select one or two, or I can click here on select all and then unselect them. If I click that again, I can sort, right? As you can see here, and I can create a new attachment. If I click on this, this will allow me to grab one or multiple ones and just upload them to here very, very quickly. But I don't have the ability currently to, to do anything like dragging and dropping. Let's say I'm trying to drag something on here and let's just try this. Here we go. Right. And even if I click that, nothing really is going to happen here. Now let's take a look at that new experience. So you can see it already looks a lot better, right? I can see here, this is an Excel file. Unfortunately, I cannot see that for the PowerPoint, which we did see in the old experience, which is kind of funny, right? Here we can see a PDF. I can actually move back and forth between all of those attachments, right? And then you can also see here that I have the ability to add an attachment. Look at this from a previous email. So I could actually navigate here and this would actually now open this little window which is showing me all of those different attachments from previous emails now i'm not sure i didn't test this i'm not sure if this is also showing me attachments from other folks but i don't think so because you can see here it only says my name but i'm not sure if i have <laughs> anything in there from somebody else from other users because again this is a demo instance right and then i can just go ahead and say oh i want to attach those guys let's just go ahead and do this guy these two i'm going to say attach and it's now just going to add those right you can see now i have 19 it's going to add them here to my email so that's a really nice nice way to add attachments right the other thing that i can still do is right i can select all attachments i can also just you can see that here i can copy an attachment i can delete an attachment and if you copy it you're probably going to be able to attach it to another email that's uh, what i'm guessing and then of course we can download it we would be able we were able to do that previously as well but I can also say, show me this in a grid view, right? So if I go ahead and do that, now it's showing me all of those attachments in the grid view. And again, I can delete the attachment or copy the attachment, right? So let's go ahead and copy that. And look at that. Now I actually see here, I copied that attachment, that little pop-up that we just got. And then can I paste the attachment? It looks like I can. And there you go. Now I have added one attachment. So you can kind of copy and paste between some of those emails as well, which is really, really nice. Now we already had the ability to export these attachments to Excel. And this is actually then going to show us the attachments in that Excel file. And let me just move this. And as you can see also, right, the file size and bytes, but we already had that. It's still kind of nice to be able to, uh, to pull that up. And then lastly, if I wanted to go ahead and drag and drop something. So let's just go ahead. Let me just pull up here my folder. So here's my folder. It's really tiny, but let's just say I want to attach that. Look at this. I can just go ahead and copy that over and boom. It has now, let's go back here to my towel view, to the last one. 
it now has been added. So I think this is going to be very, very helpful with productivity because as you can see, there's a lot less clicks now that we need to do when we're uploading these attachments, right? We can select attachments from previous emails. We can copy and paste it from other emails and we can also drag and drop. Now, if you have an environment that does not have that new experience enabled, you can actually enable that yourself. So I tried this on an environment where when I was setting this up, I selected to only install uh, sales, Dynamics 365 sales. And I was actually able to configure my email form so I get the new experience. So let me show you how we can do that. So you will go here to make.powerapps.com and then we're going to go to the email table. So let's just go ahead and look for that. And then obviously we're going to go to forms and then pick whatever email form you want to uh, enhance, right? Or you want to uh, add this control to, I should say. So I'm going to go here to the enhanced email. So it's kind of hard to see, but where this flow button is, that's actually where the attachments grid is. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go and scroll all the way down until we get to components and we're going to go ahead and you can see here, this one is deprecated, right? So we're going to get rid of that. And then we're going to click again on components. And what we're looking for is this attachments control. Now, if you don't see it here, you can actually click here on get more components, and then you're going to search for that attachments control. And then you're going to click on that. So let's say it's this guy, right? I'm going to click here on add, and that will now make it show up over here. Now, again, we're going to do the attachments control. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And then there's nothing else I need to do. I'm just going to click here on done. And then I'm going to save and publish. So let's just give it a second while it does that. All right, so it saved and published this change. So let's go back to the forum and take a look. Okay, so let's do a refresh here now. And sometimes you even have to do like a hard refresh. And that's it. Now I see my new attachments control here and I can just go ahead and start using it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.